Welcome to Altera's Neos 2 Software Design Tools Overview Tutorial. Hello, my name is Tom, and in this tutorial you will learn about the tools and software available for developing Neos 2 processor-based applications on Altera FPGAs. Used by more designers than any other soft processor in the world, the Neos 2 Embedded Processor remains the industry standard processor for FPGA and hard copy ASIC design. The Neos 2 family of embedded processors currently consists of three processor cores that implement a common instruction set architecture. Each is optimized for a specific price performance point and all are supported by the same software toolchain. In this tutorial we will cover the Neos 2 software development tools that are delivered with the embedded design suite. We will also briefly look at the additional components that can be included with the Neos 2 processor and how the software development environment automatically copes with the configurable processor system. Then we'll look at commercially available software like operating systems and middleware. And finally we will discuss where you can get additional information, training, and support. Let's start by quickly looking at the overall flow. Like many embedded projects, you might start by selecting the hardware required, but with FPGA devices, you can create custom hardware to perfectly match your requirements. This process starts with Altera's Quartus II Hardware Development Tool Suite and System Integration Tool, QSYS. QSYS simplifies complex system design by raising the level of abstraction during system development. Instead of designing at the signal level, QSYS allows a designer to design at the system component level. These tools combine with the wide range of IP available, for example the Neos 2 processor, DSP functions, and interfaces like Ethernet and PCI help you to quickly and easily create an application specific hardware design. Once you have your hardware platform, you need to start developing software. For this you can use the Neos 2 Embedded Design Suite or EDS. This suite provides development tools like compilers and debuggers but it also delivers a clean software infrastructure known as the Hardware Abstraction Layer or HAL. There are also several compatible third-party offerings of operating systems, middleware, and tools. To get you started quickly, Altera offers Neos 2 development boards that come complete with everything you need to create an FPGA and Neos 2 based product. There are also a wide range of other development boards available from Altera and third parties. Finally, Altera also offers many additional resources to help you through your development. This includes reference designs, literature and online or instructor-led training. Now let's take a look at the contents of the EDS in more detail. Let's look at the key development components that make up the Neos 2 Embedded Design Suite. The Neos 2 Software Build Tools for Eclipse are a fully integrated development environment built from the ground up. Neos 2 Software Build Tools are used as a foundation and designed as plugins for industry standard Eclipse. Neos 2 Software Build Tools for Eclipse focus on improving software productivity for large software applications and team-based software design. The Neos 2 Software Build Tools for Eclipse include Source Navigator and Editor, Source Debugger and Profiler, Compiler, Linker and Assembler for C and C++. The Neos 2 plugins for Eclipse include the Neos 2 Project Manager, Neos 2 Software Templates, a Neos 2 Flash Programmer, Neos 2 Board Support Package Editor, Quartus 2 Programmer, and Neos 2 Command Shell. The next key component of the Neos 2 Embedded Design Suite is the Command Line Software Build Tools. Some developers want to create their own design flow so they can integrate the software build flow with other facilities using a scripted environment. This can be done using the GNU tools, but this leaves the work of creating and updating the support package to the developer. 
Fortunately, this problem is addressed by the NEOS2 command line software build flow. This basically contains a powerful set of executables and scripts that offers the same functionality contained within the IDE. This means that developers have full access to the automated generation and update features for device drivers and libraries from a command line or scripted environment. Also part of the NEOS2 embedded design suite are the HAL API. Altera provides a complete set of peripheral device drivers and even generates a custom board support package automatically to accelerate your software development effort. The hardware abstraction layer or HAL increases your productivity by building your applications on top of the NEOS2 HAL. The HAL is a well-defined software layer that forms a clear distinction between applications and device level software. The HAL also provides services such as file descriptors, I.O. control and buffering which are required by the ANSI C library functions so that your HAL driver does not need to provide these functions. The board support package is automatically generated and includes drivers for the peripherals and your system. You can also create your own custom drivers on top of the HAL by leveraging the HAL API using predefined and well-documented driver development procedures. This modular approach promotes consistent, portable, and reusable code. The final component of the NEOS2 embedded design suite is embedded software. With the NEOS2 embedded processor, you have access to a broad range of embedded software components. The following items are included with the NEOS2 EDS. Micro C OS2 real-time operating system, the NEOS stack, TCP IP network stack, NEOS CETA hardware acceleration compiler, and FS2 system navigation board tools, new lib ANSI C standard library, and simple, fi simple file system. One of the key advantages of an FPGA and the NEOS2 processor is that you can easily change the hardware to suit your application. However, to many software developers, the sound of a hardware platform that changes with each new project or even during a project is a complete nightmare as they have to rebuild the software support environment every time the system changes. The work involved in doing this and the potential for errors is high, so the NEOS2 EDS includes a system that automatically creates the processor support environment and shields the programmer from the details of the hardware implementation using something known as the hardware abstraction layer or HAL. The IDE will also automatically add the correct device drivers and update all hardware related software libraries as required by your hardware design. This means that you do not have to spend any time creating a hardware support package or updating it if the system design changes during the course of the project. Now that we've covered the core features of the EDS, let's look at some of its additional components. The NEOS2 Embedded Design Suite also contains a range of evaluation version tools and IP that allow you to try before you buy and accelerate your final development time. For example, the Embedded Design Suite contains a full version of the Micro C OS2 real-time operating system. This contains example implementations and full source code. The hardware development environment delivers free or full evaluation versions of many peripherals, so the Embedded Design Suite carries software drivers for these peripherals. For example, the EDS contains a full source code evaluation version of the InterNiche TCP IP stack to support the Altera triple speed Ethernet Mac. Another advantage of implementation in FPGAs is the ability to create custom hardware accelerator modules to replace functions that take too long in software. The NEOS2 C to hardware or C to H compiler offers a fully automated way to generate, 
and integrate hardware accelerator modules into both your hardware design and your software project. And finally, for those of you who are looking for the ultimate in debugging tools, the EDS also contains information on how you can use full real-time trace capability using FS2 or Lauterbach tools. Now let's look at the NEOS 2 software build tools for Eclipse. This is the NEOS 2 software build tools for Eclipse project view. From this window you can navigate your project and easily add or remove source code, files, and headers to the project. When you create a new project, you can create a blank project or select from a wide range of application examples. These range from Hello World to a project that implements the MicroC OS2 operating system. Naturally, you can also control things like build settings to create debug and release versions of your project, but you can also customize the hardware settings used in the system library. For example, if you have more than one timer, you can select which one will be used by the HAL library, or allocate the location of the stack and heap, or even select which peripherals should be used for standard I.O. and standard error. The NEOS2 software build tools for Eclipse contains an editor with context-sensitive code highlighting and comprehensive search features. From here you can trigger a full system build or access the extensive help facility. The NEOS2 software build tools also has a debugger. This offers all of the standard features that you would expect from a modern tool. There are windows that offer display and control of all the required information as you debug your code. For example, the current debug session, the source code and debugger location, breakpoints, memory registers, variables, and so on. From here you can choose to run your code on the integrated instruction set simulator, real hardware via the JTAG port, or on a hardware simulation of your system. Also from the software build tools you can run additional tools that can be used to program the FPGA or create a flash image and download it to your development board. In this screenshot we've added a hardware programming file as well as the software image that will be programmed into the flash. Now that we've covered the basics of a software build tool, let's look briefly at the command line software build flow. As I mentioned before, the software build flow comes with a powerful set of command line tools. With these tools you can create an example software project, build and update your own software or board support package and program the FPGA and flash devices. You can control all these features from a command line or from a script. Despite the advantages of running a shell environment, for debugging you really need a graphical display environment. This problem has been solved by the use of the software build tool debugger within the software build flow. All you have to do is open up the software build tools and import the software build project. Then you'll have full access to all the features of the software build tool debugger with your software build flow project. Now that we've covered the core development tools, let's look briefly at the C to H compiler. One advantage of implementation in FPGAs is the ability to create custom hardware accelerator modules to replace functions that take too long in software. Normally this would require HDL coding skills and knowledge of how to integrate custom logic into a processor system. But all of this can be done for you using the NEOS C to Hardware or C to H compiler. All you need to do is profile your code to identify functions that are impacting the performance of your application and are suitable for hardware acceleration. Then you highlight the function and by a single mouse click call the C2H compiler. The C2H compiler will analyze your C code and generate an optimized hardware equivalent. Then it will integrate the hardware into your system design and replace your original function call with a call to the newly generated hardware in the system. This can deliver significant performance improvements allowing your system to deliver higher performance at the same clock speed. 
In this section, we will look at the structure of a 